Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your friendly little neighborhood egghead. Back at it again. Someone needs to stage an intervention between me and this bun because it's a lot. I can't remember the last time my hair was not in a bun, apart from sleeping. So yeah, I look like an egg and I'm going to be looking like an egg until me and my hairdresser are reunited post lockdown. But this is not the point. This is a real digression. Today I have a Zara order to share with you, but not just any Zara order. I have been in serious need of new jeans. There's only so long that you can go on doing the little like hacks with your jeans. There's the old hairband over the button and through the buttonhole kind of situation. And then there's the like belt loop over the button and through the button situation but there's only so long that i can do that for until i'm just like do you know what i just need to buy jeans that fit me i hate jeans shopping so i have put this off for so long but i thought do you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna order all the jeans i'm gonna try them all on because i love jeans shopping in person like i used to love going to top shop and doing their personal shopping and you don't pay for it it's all free but you just get the nice big changing rooms and then you have all of the jeans lined up in front of you and i would just try them all on it was the best way to shop for jeans you just really do have to try everything on like everything different sizes different styles so that is what we are going to be doing today but in the comfort of my own home because obviously lockdown vibes still here in the UK. I don't know what everyone else is up to, but we are still like literally like not allowed to leave the house unless we're going to the supermarket or like what are the other things I'm allowed to leave the house for? I don't know because I just haven't left. So we have a big, very big, very heavy Zara box. Like I can't lift this one without help. I just slide it along my flooring. So if you are also putting off shopping for jeans or maybe you've had your eye on a few pairs of jeans from Zara, hopefully they will be in this order and I will be able to try them on. You can decide whether or not they're actually worth you purchasing. But I'm literally going to try on all of these. If this sounds like your kind of video, then keep on watching. Okay, so firstly, I'm five foot two. So that is going to definitely play a big part in how all of these jeans look on me. As a smaller than like shorter than average human being, I actually don't shop in petite as much as you would think quite often. I I just try and wing it anyway moving on the first pair are a pair of mom fit high-rise jeans in this really beautiful bleached blue denim i love this kind of tone i think it works really really well on my skin tone in particular they have a frayed hem at the bottom they're quite like a traditional denim feel they don't feel like mega stretchy so that's going to be really interesting i actually ordered these in a size down to what i would normally order so we shall see i'm excited i have been wearing a for reference i used to be a 28 waist and then i'd go between a 28 leg or a 30 leg a 32 if i could roll it up like i said i just kind of make do with what is on offer i'm pretty sure i went for an eight across the board in everything apart from one pair of jeans that were only available in a six and i was like i'll give it a try <laughs> really ambitious okay first pair we might be in luck this could be my lucky day we could have a run of good luck with all of these jeans so the leg length on these is actually really good i know that they're probably meant to be what is it like an ankle length let me double check it says ankle on the label so i'm going to assume that that means kind of ankle length which on me i would say yeah they hit my ankle i think they're meant to sit above the ankle but being five foot two i'll take that so i've left them on roll so that you can see them at full length i don't think it's necessarily the most flattering i like to see just a touch of ankle where possible especially with mom jeans just to give you a little bit more of a like illusion of length but overall i really like the fit of these they're nice and snug around the waist and then we have a lot more material to work with around the hips as you can probably see which obviously like then follows through at the back we've got a lot of extra material around the upper thigh i'm going to roll them up so you can see how i would actually style them because i don't think unless i was doing a very like a i want to say 80s look i don't think i would leave them straight yes i love these so this is how i would typically wear them i love the way the roll up looks i think especially in the summer like i said i'm more likely to wear mom jeans in the summer they'll pair so nicely with both trainers like flat sandals sandals with a heel anything where you have a bare ankle to kind of show off i think it works really really nicely so i definitely say they are true to size in my experience if i'm unsure i always size up in mom jeans so i can belt them around the waist but i would also say these actually still do have enough room that if you were unsure I would just get your regular size. But yeah, I'm very happy with these. I think these might be a keeper. Okay, these are the UK 6, so they are a size 34. These will be the ones that I'm just not sure on. However, they've got a lot more stretch to them than the other pair of jeans. These are a skinny flare. I'm really loving skinny flares at the moment so they are quite an exaggerated flare. I love this kind of vibe for dressing up a little bit more. A pair of jeans like this with then like a really nice simple chic top like something quite fitted and then a pair of strappy heels is just 
goals and a really lovely one for kind of like spring summer when you want to look casual but you want to look cute at the same time this kind of vibe i absolutely love and they're in this beautiful like indigo denim color which i haven't seen in such a long time i don't know if it's even cool anymore but i found that recently i'm gravitating towards styles of jeans that aren't necessarily like cool but i personally really like them and they work really well with how i'm preferring to dress at the moment so excited to try this on praying they fit so these are the skinny flares in a size six. If this is an indication of the kind of leg lengths that I'm about to be working with, this does not bode well for me. This whole video could be a disaster. <laughs> so I love the jeans. I love the color. I love the fit. I just wish that they weren't as long as they are because spoiler, I am not this tall. These are in fact the highest heels that I own. Oh my God, Stanley got one leg like this is really difficult in these heels. <laughs> These are the highest heels that I own. They are YSL Tribute Platform Sandals. I think they actually might be six inch heels. I think you need to be about like five, six, five, seven to kind of make these work. Basically, if you are below average height, do not bother ordering these unless you enjoy wearing this heel height on a regular basis, in which case go for it. I think for my flares, I'm probably going to have to stick to like ASOS and ASOS Petite and that kind of vibe. But sad because they are so cute, so comfy, really nice and stretchy. If these were the right length, these would just be really nice on an everyday basis. Okay, we then have a pair of classic mom jeans in a very light blue wash. Slightly different to the first pair, these are more of a traditional blue denim, whereas the other pair were more of a like blue acid wash type situation, like a subtle acid wash. They kind of remind me of like Levi's style jeans, like they've got that same feeling. I do own a pair of Levi's. I don't actually wear them that much. These are a little, little bit thinner than traditional Levi's, which I really like. I should actually tell you what the button zip situation is like. These are the zips. I will let you know if there's any that are button up because that is a major pet peeve of mine. I can't stand jeans that have like a button up situation here. I'm just so looking forward to having a pair of mom jeans that really like fit well. My other mom jeans are great if I want to wear a belt because I love how cinched in the waist goes and then you have this like excess material over your hips and it's very flattering. Sometimes I don't want to wear a belt and it just, they just fall and they kind of sit on my waist which is not where these high rise jeans, like these high waisted jeans are meant to sit and it doesn't look great. So yeah, I'm very excited at the prospect of having some jeans that fit. These I think will definitely need a roll up at the bottom as well. So this next pair are the classic mom jeans. I feel like with this video, we're all gonna go a bit denim blind at some point, because there are going to be so many pairs of mom jeans that <laughs> we just won't know what we're looking at anymore. But this pair are definitely longer. I would say they are slightly baggier, not necessarily here. I feel like they're actually more fitted around the bum and the upper thigh, just ever so slightly. They just don't have the same loose Feel. They actually feel like they're way more secure. Like I don't feel like they are tighter, they have the same amount of room as the other pair. I guess they maybe feel more rigid, so they feel like they're really holding me in, whereas the first pair were more breathable. I actually don't hate these long. They're almost like a mom leg crossed with a straight leg jean. Real kind of like old school straight leg jean vibes. That's what I'm getting from these. And I don't hate it, I actually really like it, but we're gonna see what they look like rolled up. They're definitely more rigid, like pulling my knee up to adjust the bottom of these jeans. Ooh, these are like, these remind me of my first ever pair of jeans that my dad bought me. I like the way they kind of like hang loose around the ankle though. I think they're gonna need more rolling up with me, you know? But yeah, I don't, I don't dislike them. They feel very casual, like they would pair well with trainers. Like I took one look at them when I first like pulled them up and did the button up, I was like, I reckon these are gonna be like a trainer's vibe. They feel very summery, like really relaxed, despite being a little bit more rigid. I really like them. So now we have a pair of like darker blue jeans, which I just thought they're a little bit smarter and they look really nice with like a tan belt around the waist, which is something that I really love at the moment. These with just like a nice white top or white jumper or whatever would look really, really beautiful. They do have a bit of an effect on them. Like there are all of these lighter tones running through the more like indigo tone going on on it which is interesting it makes it look almost like a little bit crinkled i really like the fact that the stitching is like that traditional tan tone and it matches quite nicely with the patch on the back i always really like the zara patches but anyway these are another one of the classic mom style fits much like the pair before so if the previous cutaway was bad then we all know how this is going to go if i love the previous pair then that bodes well so these are the same classic mom fit in the blue. I really like these. I love them with a slight, just a little heel, just a little heel sandal. I think the darker blue denim is always very smart. So I definitely think they pair really nicely with a sandal versus like a more casual shoe, like a trainer. This would look really cute with like 
white shirt, tan belt, tan sandals in the summer, that would be such a vibe. I'm really jealous by the way of anyone that is tall enough to wear these without rolling them up because I just think they would look really cool if I was like a few inches taller, not rolled up with the sandal. It's a very smart jean without feeling too dressed up, you know, but oh my god these are so rigid. I'm so not used to this, I haven't had like a new pair of jeans in so long. Okay, I've rolled them up three times, I think they're really cute. I think I'm about to keep these. Let me know, what do you think? Do you love a dark blue jean? Do we not love a dark blue jean? I really like the classic mom style from Zara. I'm, I think I'm converted. I love how structured they feel. I'll be interested, to be honest, to see how they all wash. And I definitely, like, I haven't had a new pair of jeans, like a dark pair of jeans in so long. Not since the Gucci bag incident of 2000 and, what year is it, 2017? Now. Things are getting a bit interesting. These are a mom fit, high rise, slim mom leg, ankle comfort. What does that mean? Maybe it just means ankle length and comfortable. I don't know. I got these in a size 36 and they're like a slightly off white. They've almost got a slight yellow tone to them, but that's not coming up on camera because I'm literally surrounded by everything that is like cream. These ones actually have a really different button. I kind of love that. So these are the classic mom fit in the white. I love these, but I can't tell. I actually can't tell if I love these because I love the outfit that I've kind of worked it with. But yeah, size eight, they are much longer than like an ankle length for me. I would say definitely yes to the comfy. So this is the mom fit rolled up slightly. I love them. I think they look so cute just with these little sandals. They're very Bottega vibes. They're actually from Zara, I think like two, three years ago. I love these sandals. They will forever be in my wardrobe. They're a slight off-white, but they aren't as I suspected with Zara. They aren't that yellow off-white, which I did think they were going to be. They do have a slight hint of cream in them, but it's not too bad. In terms of the fit, I would say they're slightly looser around the waist if you're unsure and you're in between sizes you could go for the size down i feel like they've got give and they've got more space around the waist than the rest of the jeans that i've tried on so far they're really lovely and thin they are going to be a perfect summer jean for me like really nice and thin very breathable they're not too soft but they're very like comfortable i feel like they might stretch out a little bit because of that yeah i really like these what do we think Next we have a real heavy like acid wash tone on these jeans. These are called a slim flare, which is interesting. Hmm. But yeah, a very heavy like acid wash distressed pair of jeans. We've got rips on the leg. I think this was a pair that was more like a pair of jeans that Zara do for this season rather than their classic mom jeans that they bring back like again and again. They're fairly light. They don't have a lot of stretch to them. This will be interesting. I'm excited to see how they fit on the leg. I think this would definitely be a pair that I would have to wear with heels because they look incredibly long. Right, you guys, this pair of jeans, <laughs> they're a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. I actually would have loved these if they maybe were a little bit smaller in both waist and length. Weirdly, they're the same size as literally like 99% of the other jeans in this video, but they have a lot more excess room around the waist. I don't remember if they were available in a smaller size when I ordered them, but I might check because weirdly I love these. They're like real 90s vibes, which I know is not everyone's thing, but I did not have the disposable income in the 90s, so I love 90s fashion. But anyway, they also are very long. Like even a pair of my like very tall heels are not cutting it. And these definitely are too casual a vibe for like the YSL very high platform shoes that does not work so yeah sad i don't think these are going to work out if i do get them in the size down and they fit like really amazingly what i might be inclined to do because these have a distressed hem at the bottom is just cut along the bottom and bring them up to maybe being able to wear with like a low heel if that makes sense so this is a pair of mom slim fit jeans which i think is a style by the sounds of it sounds like it would be a similar fit to the Topshop premium mom jeans which i love because they were a slim fit mom jean like when i first wore them obviously jeans are always a little bit tighter when you first wear them everyone was like those aren't even mom jeans they are 100% mom jeans but more of a slim fit which i think is really lovely depending on what you want to pair them with on top my new in mom jeans which i absolutely love are very baggy so there's only a certain type of top that I can wear on top with it without looking like I'm just drowning in my clothes, if you know what I mean. It's all a vibe, it all works, but it's just not a look that I prefer to wear. So if these fit, I think these would be a pair that would integrate into my wardrobe really beautifully. 
just really nice and easy. But yeah, we'll see. I actually don't love the patch on the back of this. Okay, the mom slim fits. These fit the snuggest out of all of them. I actually really like it. They're like stretchy enough that I feel like I could eat in them and not be like too uncomfortable, but they're really snug and really tight on my waist, which is just, I haven't had a pair of jeans that fit this well that aren't skinnies in such a long time. It's a really nice experience. Yeah, they are, as you can probably tell, the more fitted of all of the mom jeans and I really, really love that. I'm very happy with it. They are a little bit more baggy around the bottom of the leg than my Topshop Premium mom jeans. They definitely tapered in slightly more. I think these would still be really cute. Like when they're rolled up, it would just give them a slightly more baggy effect. Perfect for summer. So they aren't the shortest of all of the mom jeans. As you can see, they come past my ankle. They're not just hitting my ankle bone. So if you're taller, they won't look too cropped, but they'll probably be that like, perfect amount of crop if you know what I mean. I think these might be my favourites. I love the blue wash of them as well. It's really lovely and soft. Not too bright. I think it will work really well with loads of the tones that I have in my wardrobe, like all the whites, blacks, neutrals, blush tones, that kind of vibe. I think these will integrate really perfectly into my wardrobe and they fit like a dream. I think these might be the ones, to be honest. Like if I had to keep one pair, I think this this would be the pair whoa these are long i can already tell this is not gonna go well so these are wide leg which i really like a wide leg however they look very very long so this is gonna be interesting i got them in the uk8 size 36 they have a lovely like rose gold button detailing although not on this button interesting they feel very thick no stretch this is gonna be so interesting i'm really scared like i get really nervous to try jeans on especially like if they don't have stretch you just know that that sizing needs to be bang on so the wide leg black jeans are without a doubt a health and safety hazard <laughs> i have my highest heels on the ysl heels are on underneath this not that you can tell and i still feel like they are too long and i might actually trip over these jeans they are wild i think styles like this are so cool like i love a wide leg i really like a wide leg trouser especially in summer with like a cool like shirt that's kind of like pulled back a little bit and it looks very relaxed and i think that kind of vibe would work really really nicely with the wide leg jean as well however i just i don't think zara is it if you are average height or below for anything that is not a mom jean or a skinny jean personally those two you can really work with any leg length you're given as long as it's not too extreme however the wide leg the flares like they come up much bigger as well for one like there's always more room i don't know if it's that they're meant to sit lower but then that makes the length situation even more tricky and then you also end up with a crutch like down here and no one needs that that is not comfortable so it's kind of weird that there's just like a lot of excess material but they're very rigid at the same time we've got a lot of leg length like who are these made for who are these made for <laughs> yeah they're a bit crazy but i love like the look of them if you can make them work okay next we have a mom fit high rise slim mom leg ankle comfort don't know what that means still i love the blue of these it's a real blue blue i like the fact that it has the tan stitching and then the button actually matches it as well that kind of stuff really pleases me these are soft and thin but with that denim feel still there i think these would be very comfy maybe that's what the comfort thing means is like they're not like stiff they feel very soft and i think they'd be quite nice to like just lounge out in as well as like wearing out you know and they do have like a tiny bit of give like that previous pair this black pair no give zero give these have like a little bit more but without being stretchy so these are the mom fit jeans i have to say these i think look the cheapest out of all of these like i wouldn't recommend them not because they're not like good in terms of like the fit but purely in terms of how they look not even in terms of how they feel because i think there are probably other jeans that i've tried on that have felt this kind of like soft and thin and not been bothered by it but the material combined with the wash of these it just doesn't feel like it's hitting the mark for me especially in terms of the fact that i've just checked they are 27.99 very similar to a lot of the other pairs of jeans in this haul that just feel more expensive these just are not hitting the mark for me i'm gonna roll them up and we'll see kind of how they look anyway yeah they're better now they're rolled up but i just i'm not clicking with them and i think for this denim color and this fit you could probably find something similar on like another high street retailer that's like much cheaper so next we have classic mom fit in a high rise and these are ankle length which means on me they will be full length but roll them up yeah these are a very like traditional pair of jeans 
I really like them. You can kind of see that they've got that like tapering in at the waist when I hold them out, but you can really see it like curves. So I think this could be a good pair for me. I think we might have some luck with this. Again, got them in the size 36. So these are the classic mom fit, but with the rips. And I have to say these have well and truly reaffirm the fact that I am fully over ripped jeans. I haven't worn them in a long time, but I thought I'd give them a go just to see if it like reignited my love for them. It hasn't. These actually have like a lot of room compared to the other classic mom fit jeans. It's so strange how that happens. So if you're in between sizes, size down. As with the other classic mom jeans, they are more rigid in terms of the material. As with all of the other pairs of jeans, once I've rolled it up, I feel a lot better in them. However, I just don't love the rips. I don't think they suit me. What do you think? Do you like being a ripped jean? Do we not? And then we have a pair of black mid-rise skinny jeans because I just think everyone should have a pair of black skinny jeans in their wardrobe, whether they are like currently on trend or not black skinny jeans are just an absolute essential because sometimes in winter you want to wear like a high leg boot that kind of vibe but you want to wear your jeans and mom jeans are not going to work with that yeah i always think mom jeans are really cute for the transitional seasons but for winter you are going to need skinny jeans in your wardrobe they're thick they keep you warm they tuck into like wellies boots that kind of vibe really really easily they streamline your silhouette which is so necessary i always think for me personally because i am five foot two slightly vertically challenged they really help when i'm like wearing huge coats that really swamp me just to like show that there is some kind of figure underneath and not make me look like i'm joey wearing all of chana's clothes in friends yeah an absolute essential and it would be nice to have a pair that aren't falling down so we shall see skinny jeans are great as well especially if you're shorter you just roll them up so easy this is very unexpected i am not normally one to go for a mid-rise jean. I always hear everyone talking about how unflattering they are, how you should always go for higher waisted, and I've always really stuck by that, especially being a little bit on the shorter side, and the fact that my body curves a little bit more, I was always like, yeah, I really need to go for a high waisted jean, but I think because my body is quite short, I think there is actually something that's a little bit more flattering about this style of mid-rise on me. It's almost making my body look a lot longer and i really like that i don't know if it's just working because i'm wearing like a black tank top with it but i really like them i feel really good in them which is nice i don't really know if i feel this way in all of my other like black skinny jeans but i'm really vibing with these they're actually a little bit longer on the hem at the back like they're shorter at the front longer at the back i don't know how i feel about that but it does mean that at the front these jeans hit me at like a really nice point i wish they were like a full black wash because they're kind of like a faded let me see if i can show you they're like a faded wash which i don't know if that is always the most flattering kind of jean wash because it's not like black black it's not like doing the most for your silhouette yeah i just found my gucci loafers as well which they are the hardest shoe to style in my wardrobe so if something looks good with them then i generally take it as a, most things will look good with these kind of vibe i think they're cute and i'm gonna stop talking about them now because it's probably getting boring i ordered some shorts because my shorts apart from one pair one pair of vintage levi's which i have had for years they have like a distressed hem it's not necessarily always so appropriate they're also very short and i thought these would be really cute and they're slightly more smart you know they're not like smart smart like wearing a linen pair of shorts kind of smart but they definitely just feel a little bit more appropriate they look a little bit longer i love this blue tone i think it is beautiful i got these in a size 36 and they're a mom fit pair of denim shorts so cute i also got them in black i don't actually love wearing black that much during the summer but for insurance purposes there might just be a time where i need a pair of black shorts and i'm like oh I wish I'd searched for the perfect pair. So yeah, just sort of get them because they are just like a wardrobe staple. So the blue denim shorts, I love. It's just so nice to wear a pair of blue shorts or just denim shorts in general that don't have distressing to them. I honestly can't remember. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of denim shorts that didn't have some kind of like distressed vibe to them. I really like these. I think they just look a lot more pulled together than a lot of my other shorts. Distressed denim is lovely, like when you're like peak summertime, it's hot, maybe you're off work, you're on holiday, but for just general wear in the UK, I think these are lovely because they're a little bit longer, they're a little bit more pulled together, they work really nicely with like your basic bodies and tanks that you already have and have been layering during the winter. But yeah, I really love them, I love the fit, they're really nice and 
snug around the waist but not tight there's still a little bit of room a little bit of give they're a good all day pair of shorts you know they'll fit in the morning but they'll still fit and be comfortable after lunch and dinner you know I need to try the black pair on i'm interested to see if they're a little bit tighter in their fit because that does sometimes happen with black dye so the black pair are also really lovely i would say they are maybe ever so slightly more snug maybe slightly around the waist but definitely more around the leg i feel like the blue pair had a lot more excess material or it felt that way i don't know if that feeling kind of like washes out as the dye washes out but i do really love them and i definitely want to experiment with more all black outfits during the late spring not like peak summer because i'm not crazy but um just in terms of like really nice chic pulled together spring summer outfits i don't normally do like all black so these will definitely be a very welcome addition to my wardrobe as will the blue pair and then we have a final pair which came separately so these are a pair of high rise ankle length sculpt jeans these are a skinny fit they're very skinny Ooh, very like thin not like a traditional denim feel they're very very soft Still a bit dusty how have i managed that in the two seconds i've unpacked those they're a very black skinny jean which i really like i don't know how long that would hold for i do find that black dye tends to kind of wash out very quickly they're really nice and stretchy and the reason i picked these up was because i do find sometimes I want a skinny jean and I want something that just makes me look really great and feel like a 10 out of 10 and really like held in and supported. So I thought these sounded like a good option. These feel, look and smell like the black skinny jeans that I used to wear to school. We had uniform, I did not follow it. I don't know if they were from Primark or maybe New Look, somewhere like that, but I used to wear, like religiously wear these stretchy, skinny, black, like really black jeans to school because they had to be so black that they almost looked like trousers. And these look and smell like them and it's giving me the weirdest flashbacks. So I don't love them because of that, but I did just check myself in the mirror before I came to speak to you guys. And they do definitely look more flattering than the mid-rise. Yeah, I do like them. And I think it's a welcome change to my Topshop Sydney jeans, which are currently like gray and they don't hold their color well. Whereas these are gorgeous, but how long will they stay gorgeous for? That is the thing. So that is it from me today. I hope you enjoy seeing me try on at least 50% of the jeans that Zara have to offer. It feels like I tried on every single pair of jeans from Zara, but they did actually have even more than this. I actually can't believe how many options there were to pick from, but I kind of loved that. But yeah, this was fun. I feel like there are other brands where I've tried on all of their denim in the past, but I've never really done that for Zara and they had such a huge selection. So let me know which were your faves in the comments. I obviously won't be keeping all of these jeans. I feel like it's quite obvious, but I just need to put that out there. <laughs> no one needs this many pairs of jeans. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're all having a great day and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye. Thank you.